the Chinese should be pretty worried about generative AI. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that they don't have um, free speech. And so what do you do when the system generates something that's not permitted in their country? Right. right? Who do you jail? Yeah. Right? The computer, the user, the developer, the training data. It's not at all obvious. Yeah. And the Chinese regulators so far have been relatively intelligent about this. But it's obvious if you think about it that the spread of these things will be highly restricted in China because it fundamentally addresses their information monopoly. Right. That makes sense. Right. So in our conversations with China, both Dr. Kissinger and I, when we were together, um, and unfortunately he passed away, and the subsequent meetings have been set up as a result of his inspiration to do them, everyone agrees that there's a problem. But we're, we're at the moment with China, we're speaking in generalities. There is not a proposal in front of either side mm -hmm. that's actionable, and that's okay, mm -hmm. because it's complicated. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this, because of the stakes involved, it's actually good to take your time to actually explain what you view as the problem. So many Western computer scientists are visiting with their Chinese counterparts and trying to say, if you allow this stuff to, to proliferate, you could end up with a terrorist act, right? the misuse of these for biological weapons, the misuse of these for cyber. Um, the the long-term worry is, is much more existential, but at the moment, I think the Chinese conversations are largely very constrained by, bio, by concerns about bio threats and, and uh, cyber threats. Right. The long-term threat goes something like this. At, uh, when I talk about AI, I talk about it as human-generated. Mm -hmm. So you or I give it at least in theory, a command. Mm -hmm. And you may, it may be a very long command, and it may be recursive in the sense, but it starts with a human judgment. Right. There is something technically called recursive self-improvement, right. where the model actually runs on its own, and it just learns and gets smarter and smarter. Right. When that occurs, or when agent-to-agent -agent interaction that's heterogeneous occurs, yeah. we have a very different set of threats which we're not ready to talk to anybody about because we don't understand them, <laughs> but they're coming.